In this video, we're going to be learning how you can beat players 1v1 every single time. So when it comes to 1 versus 1 situations, a lot of people think in order to beat a player 1v1, you have to be an extremely fast player or an extremely strong player to be able to beat defenders 1v1. But in this video, I'm going to be explaining the simple concept of how you can beat a player every time when, in, when you get into a 1v1 situation. And once you understand the concept, it doesn't matter if you're a tall player, if you're a short player, and what kind of playing style you have. You are able to beat players every single time in a one versus one situation using your own creativity. Once you understand the concept, you can use your creativity to create moves for yourself or anything else. So all you need for today's video is going to be soccer ball and maybe a couple of cones to practice your 1v1 moves. So let's get into it. So now let's talk about the main concept of how to beat a player one versus one. So if you want to beat a player one versus one, this is the most important thing that you have to understand. And that is to make the defender lose their balance. So a lot of players don't do this part correctly and they're not able to do something to the defender to make them shift all of their weight on one side and so they can attack the defender's weak side. So once you're able to do something to the defender that makes them shift their weight on one side, you're able to make them lose their balance. Now all you have to do is to attack their weak side and the weak side is the side that they don't have their weight on. So if I put all of my weight on this side, this is going to be my weak side. So then you have to do something to the defender that makes them lose their balance. Now to understand this step better, I'm going to be introducing you to four simple steps to beat the player 1v1. The first step is the setup. So once you understand these four steps, these four steps help you to beat a player 1v1. So let's talk about the setup first. So any move that you're doing, the setup part of the move is the part that I always call it the hook. So it's what makes the defender bait to the challenge. So let me show you an example. If I'm doing, for example, my drag, I'm going to be doing my drag, for example, this is going to be the move that I'm going to do against the defender. So I'm going to be moving the ball to one side. So when moving the ball to one side, that defender is going to be teased to put all of his weight to one side because he's watching the ball that is moving to one side. So if, if the defender is standing here, for example, they're going to be shifting all of their weight to this side. So this is what really teases them to bait into the challenge. That is the first step, which is called the setup. So the setup part of your move is the, is the most powerful part of your move that makes the defender bait into the challenge. The second step is your pre-fake. So what is a pre-fake? A pre-fake is what comes before your move. And a prefix is what sells your move to the defender. So if I'm doing this move, for example, which is a simple drag to the one side, my prefix would be my stare in the direction that I'm faking. So I will drag the ball to one side. That's going to be my setup, which teases the defender to bait. And then my prefix is going to be the stare, usually. In different moves, the prefake is a stare. I'm going to be staring in the direction that I'm faking. So this sells my move even more to the defender. So it teases them to put their weight even more onto that side that I want them to go. So I will stare. So that is going to be my prefake. The third step is going to be your move itself. So the move itself is usually, you can do, we have a lot of varieties of different moves. Depends what move you're doing. This move that I'm doing is, the drag, so I'm going to be dragging the ball here, and then I'm going to be dropping my shoulder, which is the move itself here, and I'm also staring, which was my pre-fake, and all of these steps combined together makes the defender put all of their weight to one side, so I can exploit their weak side here. And the final step, which is step four, is your explosion. So this is one of the most important steps of 1v1. Again, a lot of players don't do this part correctly, and they're not able to beat the defender. So once you get the defender to shift all of their weight to one side, you must explode to their weak side. You must explode, and by exploding, I mean you have to sprint, you have to go. Now is the time to escape the defender. So I'm going to be showing you a demonstration here. 
I'm first with this um, move. I'm going to be first dragging the ball as my setup, and then I'm going to do my pre fake, and then my move, which is the drop of the shoulder here. And then once the defender is off balance, I'm going to explode. So once you understand the four steps of setup, pre fake, move, and explosion, you are able to create any move that you want for yourself and using your creativity to beat the players. But these four steps really help you to understand how you can get that player to lose their balance. But again, all you have to do to beat a player 1v1 is to make them lose their balance. And these four, four steps really help you to do that. Now I'm going to be explaining some extra tips that help you to beat players even better in 1v1 situations. The first step is that if you see any defender lunging into the challenge to win your ball or if you see that defender running at you with pace all you have to do is to knock the ball past them so you don't have to do anything to make them off balance because they're already off balance and the reason is because when they're running at you or when they're lunging into the challenge to win your ball all of their momentum of their body is coming toward you so all you have to do you know is a simple yo-yo to get past them or just simply knock the ball past the defender to beat them so that's why as a defender the worst thing that you want to do is to lunge into the challenge once you lunge into the challenge then you're done especially if you're playing against a technical player like the greatest players in the world like Messi like Robin if you jump in then you're finished because they're able to easily knock the ball past you so if you see that defender lunging into the challenge or running at you with pace all you have to do is to knock the ball past them the second tip that you have to understand is if you see the player flat footed just like this again all you have to do is to knock the ball past them because then they have to turn all the way to get back to you so the way you can understand that the defender that is defending you is more professional or more experienced or less experienced is their body positioning so more experienced defenders will always force you to one side will always at least try to force you to one side. Doesn't matter if they're able to do it or if they're not able to do it. But they will definitely be standing like this. So they're going to be forcing you to one side, either this side or this side. But less experienced defenders will always be flat footed just like this. So you can easily go through their legs or knock the ball past them. With these two extra tips, you're able to beat the players a lot easier, especially if you're at the beginner level. You're able to beat more defenders and to score amazing goals. Another vital and crucial tip that I want to be speaking about in a one versus one situation that really helps you beat more defenders is that when you're attacking that player and that defender 1v1, you must have a plan in your mind. So a lot of players don't have a plan in their mind and they're not in control of the situation. As an attacker, you always want to be in control in a 1v1 situation. What do I mean by that? So an example would be if the defender, if you're letting the defender to take control over you and to force you to the side that they want to, then you've lost the 1v1 battle. Instead, you want to be in your mind understanding which side you want them to go and which side you want to exploit. So based on the situation on the field at that moment, specific moment, based on where's the space, where are your teammates, based on everything that's going on, you have to have a plan in your mind that where you want to fake the defender and where you want to go. So an example would be this. If I receive the ball on the wing, for example, that is the defender, and I'm attacking the defender, and let's say the space is on the inside, and the net is right over there. So I know that the space is inside, and I can cut inside to shoot. So if, I'm, if I want to do the move that I've been doing so far right now that we went over in this video, I will definitely want to have a plan in my mind. So once I receive the ball, I already know I want to fake that defender this way. I want to put all of his weight on this side so I can go to the inside and shoot. So then I will do my setup, my pre-fake, and my move in a way that puts his weight where I want him to go. And then I will exploit that side that I want to. So I will receive the ball here, and then I will do my move in that way. So I will drag the ball here, I will stare, I will hop, and then I will go. It is absolutely vital for you to understand that you must be the one in control in a 1v1 situation. 
if you're a defender or if you're an attacker, it doesn't matter. If you're not the one in control, you're going to lose the battle. So there you go, guys. That's it in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about this video, about the 1v1s. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to definitely let me know if you have any questions and follow up on my future videos as well. But other than that, have a great day.